Hi guys, how you doing? So I thought I'd give you a quick look at how the palace walls are coming along. Now, if you've been following me on Facebook, you've been seeing uh, the odd bits and pieces appearing. Um, and I thought I would just give you a quick look at how these are developing. Now, they stand about 23 inches high. Um, they have a massive, great big 30 inch um, palace gate and gatehouse to be built yet um, so, so I've still got quite a bit to do and you can see down there that's my Tau army at the moment all of this has been emptied out uh, and my Tau army is at the bottom that still needs to be going to cases uh, to be packed away to move because um, we're about to move house and obviously everything has to be packed away and if you sort of look there's the boards and there's tons of boxes already being uh, um, put together and over there is a lovely piece of terrain for the uh, for the city board. Okay, so let's look at these. Um, so I wanted really high walls. I wanted firing positions. And a friend of mine, Blake, came down. We sat down. We talked about what we should build. Um, it has to be built into sections. Um, so we can replace this section with um, uh, a damaged rubble piece, for example. Um, and that's what I wanted to do. Um, and uh, it's got a nice firing step along there where the guys can stand and fire from um, then you've got the battlements at the top which will have uh, the missile I mean if you remember ages ago uh, I built these uh, really lovely uh, forge weld uh, missile systems well they're going to be sitting on there then we have an earth shaker cannon a laser earth shaker cannon then a missile piece there and the idea is there'll be steps, doorway that leads into a big gatehouse uh, and we'll be using the new uh, massive Aquila cannons and if you haven't seen these Aquila cannons yet, they're massive, absolutely vast I mean they could be Titan weapons, so they're going to be really amazing so they'll probably sit round about here and either side of the main gate then we've got all the other turret sections that have just come out that'll be fitted onto it as well um, and if we move over here, so I wanted to break it up so it wasn't so much the same. It was a little bit different from uh, the piece that I built already. And uh, and so we wanted some damaged sections. So that's going to be sort of cut up. And what I've done is I've coated this with plaster uh, just to give me a sort of a nice, or polyfiller, sorry, just to give me a nice sort of a, a rough feel to it. So when that's all sprayed up, that'll be nice, really look, really look quite cool. Uh, then we've got, um, again, Missile launcher, missile system for taking down aircraft, uh, earth shaker cannon, laser, and then this section I'm doing is it's all smashed through, which I thought would be quite cool. Um, and you can see one of the earth shaker cannons that have fell. Now I had these earth shaker cannons left over for when I was building my Krieg stuff, and uh, I never actually got rid of them, um, or well these cannons I didn't anyway. So I thought I'd put them to good use, and I thought it'd be really nice to do a, a, a bit on the wall where it's been blown through and you've got all the debris. Now I'm going to spin these around so you can have a look at the interior, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, see you in a minute. And welcome back. So this is what the rear uh, and the interior section looks like at the moment. So at the back here we have uh, an area for to put troops on so they can fire from the top. Uh, missile launchers, that sort of stuff. Anything that's got a bit of range uh, to shoot downwards. Um, it'd be really sticking a bolter up here, 24 inches. Will just they should be able to hit the ground if it was just directly below them. Um, so it's sort of for like for las cannons and stuff like that. And I expect we'll see once the void shields are breached for the wall, we'll see people landing on top of this as well. Um, so we've got these earth shaky cannons and like I said I had them left over. If we go into the inside, um, we've got window areas so we can put troops and fire from. And it's just all spare bits I've had laying around that I've basically just sort of used to just jazz it up a little bit. Just make it a little bit more exciting. Um, and if we go to this side where we've got the, the debris and the destruction uh, of the earth shaky cannon that's fallen through where it's been hit. Uh, which is quite nice. There's loads going on in there. Uh, loads of damage and stuff like that. And we move on to this side. Uh, and that's come out okay. I'm quite chuffed with all of it really. Um, there's still quite a lot to do to it. I've just got to put some edging on this just to tidy it up. 
um, and, and do some edging on the side there and on the top. Um, and then there's just some detailing to do on the back. Uh, there'll probably be like a, a lift section or some bits and pieces on here, doorways at the bottom. Uh, like I said, each section was built um, to be able to fall, uh, break away and replace with rubble sections. Now, once the gatehouse is put in, the whole thing stretches six foot um, in length, um, the highest point being about 30 inches high. And that's the way it's been designed. Um, it's going to be brilliant. I'm really looking forward to it. This is going to be so much fun. There's just going to be so much going on. So guys, I hope you like it. Um, I'll keep you updated with how this is developing. And uh, you stay cool and I'll see you soon. Take care.